our What on Earth series takes a closer look at some of the phenomena behind our weather. This week, KCAL meteorologist Marina Jerica is explaining air masses and their huge impact on our weather. An air mass is a large volume of air in which temperature and humidity are the same throughout. Air masses can extend thousands of miles across the surface of Earth and can reach from ground level all the way up to the stratosphere, 10 miles into the atmosphere. Air masses form over large surfaces with the same temperatures and humidity called source regions. Now, when winds move over these air masses, they carry their weather conditions from the source region to a new region. Now, when the air mass reaches a new region, it might clash with another air mass that has a different temperature and humidity. This creates a battle as those air masses collide. And as they fight each other, the storms are created across the Earth. Now, as meteorologists, we identify air masses according to where they form over the Earth. Think about it. In the United States, it's warmer in the southern tier and then much colder in the northern tier. And when you factor in both the temperature and moisture content, we get the five types of air masses, continental Arctic, continental polar, maritime polar, maritime tropical, and continental tropical in North America. Now, maritime air masses form over water and are humid. Continental air masses form over land and are dry. Weather forecasting can be difficult, and it is based mainly on air mass characteristics which help drive our local forecast and affect your daily life. And that's What's on Earth for this week. Thanks for watching.